care for the spirit, soul, and the body. Man is a spirit, he has a soul, and lives in the body. That resonates very chronicle of the past, present, and future. in the year 1972 when a clarion call was made by a group of expatriate missionary health care workers under the organization Nigerian Voluntary Agencies Medical Services Committee NVAMSC led by Dr. Charles Andrew Pearson from Wesley Gaud Hospital Elisha Western Nigeria inviting all healthcare agencies and missionary organizations for a conference with the theme Christian Challenges in Medical Practice. Within that conference was a young man from the Igbo tribe named Dr. Francis Akanibian who answered the summon and was passionate about the Christian medical work as he was already pioneering some work in the East under the umbrella Health Care Fellowship HCF. He further discerned the dire need for a distant Christian medical association for doctors and so it was from the midst of this void and formlessness on the 8th of April 1972 the Fellowship of Christian Doctors of Nigeria FCDN emerged the first of its kind in Nigeria and so was the chronicles of a vision that transitioned into becoming CMDA. The journey begins birthing CMDA. Sir Dr. Francis Akanibia who was elected the first president of the Den Fellowship of Christian Doctors set out with his team to establish fellowship groups across the nation and to further this Christian medical work. Several active groups were founded in various centers with a focus on the teaching hospitals in Nigeria with contributions and sponsorship by the Christian Medical Commission, Geneva, up till 1974. The vision grew, surmounting several obstacles. FCDN chapters spread across the various states in the country, also recruiting NYSC doctors as traveling secretaries for the organization. It was around uh, 1982, in the University of Lagos, when uh, the Fellowship of Christian Doctors was started and at the same time some brethren traveled to the International Conference of Christian Medical and Dental Students and came back with the idea that the student arm should be formed. So we quickly swung into action. We started it in Lagos I think around 1982 and uh, knowing that medicine is a profession and that the fellowship is really meant to train you and to equip you to be a christian doctor and we felt it was something worth investing in and i think by 1982 we had to really travel for 14 days across the length and breadth of this nation to inaugurate chapters in the six existing universities with medical schools. Membership of FCDN was open to all Christian doctors in Nigeria. The local groups established various exciting programs to involve doctors as well as other health care workers. FCDN started participating in the Quadrennial International Conference 
of the ICMDA in 1982. In 1986, during the Eighth Conference in Mexico, FCDN joined forces with the International Christian Medical and Dental Association ICMDA and received a new name, Christian Medical and Dental Association CMDA Nigeria and became accepted as a full member of the ICMDA and has continued to be represented in the World Congresses of ICMDA globally and locally. The, the vision itself is so captivating. You know, I believe strongly that God made man. And that man is tripartite, man is a spirit, he has a soul and lives in a body. That resonates very deeply in me. And I strongly believe that if God made spirit, soul and body, he cares for every part of it. You know, so this vision of CMD, having a Christian witness, you know, everywhere that will be able to do all this, to care for the spirit, soul and the body, it just perfectly fits into what, you know, I am passionate about and what I feel medicine should be. You know, we understand that man is not just body, okay, man is not just uh, an entity, man did not just emanate from something. God actually made man. And God made man with a desire to see that the spirit, the soul and body is preserved blameless. Okay. So that vision captivated me. It resonated deep inside of me. And it just made real sense that this is what my pursuit of medicine um, should be all about. The past is filled with history and lessons to learn from. CMDA was at its formative stage in the 80s and 90s when we were medical students. So first of all, we had very few students identifying. And then many of the students were not keen to take up responsibilities for leadership. Most times when you call for meeting, you will need to do some extra work to go behind the scenes to remind brethren. Um, I think one of the things is sometimes you wish that CMDA could offer more. I remember as a student, we wish that we had more people as mentors, as doctors, but that has transformed. Now the doctor's um, body is bigger and it's grown. I had the privilege of serving one of the landmark uh, that happened in leadership was I. Uh, I'm the last national vice president <laughs> because after my tenure of vice president, the nomenclature changed. Okay, so now um, back then, the national vice president acts also as the academic coordinator for the house. You know, but now we have a separate national academic secretary. Okay, that used to be part of the role of the national vice president, but now we have. Uh, a national academic secretary so we don't have a national vice president so one of the landmark is the change in nomenclature to give specific name to offices so that they run with what you know their names really mean 50 years down memory lane the vision still speaks with a social media reach of over 25,000 people monthly a website serving over 4,000 Christian medical and dental doctors and students yearly. Over 40 chapters across the country. A record of hosting over 100 medical missions outreaches happening yearly across various communities in the country. God gave me grace as I'm lecturing medical students. Whatever said, they usually come to us. There's no curriculum in the university setting for finding your worthy in character. So that's what we are to make up. And then each lecture session, irrespective of the class, we will find something to make them be found worthy 
in character and that means introducing them to the great physician Jesus. CMD has helped me to, to see medicine as a call to service. Not a call to make money, but service. CMD also gave you an opportunity to encourage younger ones. And quite a number of my students uh, have been involved in the teaching now for about 40 years. Conferences prayer meetings, academic trainings, reaching over 100,000 individuals annually under the umbrella of this vision. We can boldly say that God has been faithful and He alone has been our sufficiency. No. The future is a motivation worth preparing for. I see CMD being in a place that it becomes a platform to build, to work in partnerships with mission organizations, support discipleship and capacity building for churches, for mission organizations, for um, development organizations, for um, other sectors to address the social and the economic determinants of health and in doing that lead to whole gospel transformation of lives. We should not join the world. The world is creeping into the family of Christ. So let us keep focusing on the world and impartation of the world. With that, we are more than conquerors. CMDA doctors and students have come this far by the grace of God. And as we celebrate hard today and always, we pray for the flame of this vision to engulf all for his greater glory. The later glory of this house will be greater than the former. Higai, chapter 2, verse 9.